So as I mentioned in the last video over at Gavin's house, I do have a Toro Super Recycler. Uh, the same model that he went and bought and I want to go through a little bit more in detail what the difference is between this new model and the one that Gavin returned the one that's in the last videos that we've done there are some differences I want to point those out to you one of them is really interesting let's get this unboxed put together and talk about it here we go So like I said, this is model 21568. This is the 60 volt super recycler. This is the latest installment to Toro 60 volt lineup. I'm pretty anxious to open this up and get a look at it. I haven't um, really seen Gavin's much. Um, I had it for a few minutes over here and changed the blade on it and put the performance blade on it, uh, which I'll probably be doing here as well. Uh, but the nice thing is, is that rather than us having to share that mower and me having to kind of negotiate that with him, I've got one now. And this was sent to me by Toro. Um, Toro has been a partner of the channel for a long time, so full transparency, they did send this to me. And I'm hoping to put together a good, solid review for you guys, not just by myself, but with Gavin's help too, since he's got the same one. So. We'll get my opinions, we'll get Gavin's opinions, we'll put together a nice review for you. So, let's unbox this and let's see what we got. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you open the box is the bag. And you can go ahead and pull that out carefully for two reasons. Number one, uh, the wires from the mower might be holding the bag down a little bit. So just make sure you don't pull them too hard that you mess up the wires. Also, there is an extra blade, a performance blade that at least in mine, uh, was stored in the bag. So just make sure you don't drop that. Uh, after you go ahead and get the bag out of the way, you can remove the cardboard inserts that keep everything nice and snug in the box. A box containing the battery charger and another box containing the battery. You'll also find a plastic Ziploc bag with the owner's manual, the two uh, plastic black screws that connect the handle to the mower frame, as well as the key inside that bag. So don't lose that. So what I like to do once I get everything except the mower out of the box is I'll go ahead and assemble the handle to the frame. And uh, then from there I can go ahead and cut uh, the two front corners of the box and then push the, the front of the box down to the ground. And that allows you to just push the mower right out of the box. Super easy. All right, so now that it's all together, I have just a couple of things I wanna point out that you should probably be aware of if this is something new to you, if you haven't seen any videos yet, or if you're thinking about getting one of these. This model and the previous model, this is 21568, the previous was 21566. They're both pretty much the same mower. There are a couple of differences here that I'll point out in a second. A couple of things you should know either way, depending on which model you get, doesn't matter. You should know that when it comes out of the box, the height of cut is set as low as it can go. So just be aware of that. If you have a normal height of cut on your yard, like two, three inches, four inches, whatever, that's a set as low as it can go. So you need to adjust the height on the deck before you start mowing. The other thing that you should be aware of is the handle itself. Now, 
the handle itself is kind of interesting. This is a new design that they came out with this year. Uh, it has these kind of rubber bushings on both sides and that kind of gives the handle a little bit of bounce which gives you a little bit less resistance around bumpy areas. It's kind of like a shock absorber. So one thing to note, on the end of that bushing is a nut on both sides and it's a half inch nut and if you take it off you'll notice that there's an adjustment point there for the handle. Now it comes at, there's a low and a high adjustment point and you've got to take the bolt all the way out and put it in on this model. On, on 21566 you can just move it up and down just ever so slightly. These actually have little notches on this 21568 model where you have to pull the bolt all the way out and then put it into whichever notch you want to want to use, either the low one or the high one. The lower one makes the handle feel a little bit higher up on your body. The higher one makes it feel a little lower on your body. So the handle for me on the higher one, which I prefer, sits a little like at, right at the belt line. And I don't feel like I'm pushing down on the personal pace handle. I'm pushing it forward and that's kind of the natural feeling I want when I push the mower around. So keep that in mind. It's really easy to adjust. You just need a half inch ratchet and socket and you're good to go. It takes a couple minutes. Finally, just need to point out that it does come with two blades. Like I said earlier, there is a blade that comes in the bag. You'll also find that there's a blade already installed underneath the mower. So you have an economy blade and then you also have a performance blade. And the performance blade is the one that's in the bag. And I'm going to leave the details and my thoughts around that for the review. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. That's going to be one of the things I talk about. The difference between the standard blade and the performance blade. Now when it comes to comparing this to its predecessor, this is like I said 21568. The other one is 21566. They're pretty much the exact same mower. And at the time of recording this video, the major thing I want to point out, and what really caught me by surprise, this newer model is $50 cheaper at the Home Depot. Same specs, same size battery, same contents in the box, and I know that because I've unboxed both models now. The new model is $50 cheaper. So, you want to save a little bit of money, and add a couple of very slightly minor features, which I'll talk about in a second. $50 cheaper for this guy. And now about those really minor differences, they're both right here. And I'm anxious to see how both of them work out. The first one to point out is the obvious, headlights. And headlights mean you can mow at night. And with electric equipment, they're a lot quieter than gas equipment. So I will be testing this out on some night mows, which will be nice. I have had to mow the lawn a couple times uh, in the history of its existence in the dark, just because of circumstances. And I have a little magnetic LED flashlight that I'll stick to my lawn mowers and that gives me enough light to kind of navigate around the yard. So I'll be curious to see how these measure up. There's one on each side and we'll see how bright they are. We'll see uh, how they work and what I think of them. The other thing is the hatch for the battery compartment. It's right here on top. This one on this model, they introduced a spring loaded hatch. You just push down on it and it opens up. And then when you're done, it will just push down and lock in. Pretty easy. Uh, the other models were spring loaded as well. You had to pull them forward and hold it yourself to put the battery in and then you could let go and it would automatically close shut with the spring. This one is just a simple push, open and close. I'm curious to see how that holds up over time. Uh, it is plastic parts and it, it doesn't feel as sturdy as I would really want it to be. Plus when you get grass material, grass clippings and other material flying around in here, that's gonna affect performance with that as well. So. That's something else I'm going to be looking out for as well as general performance of the mower. So that is pretty much going to do it. Those are the key things I wanted to point out here. Uh, you can also feel free to check out my unboxing of this mower's predecessor. Uh, I'll leave a link up here in the corner or in the description or both. You can check that out and get a little bit more detail on the features of this mower. 
and look forward to the review. So I am in close contact with Gavin. He's been using this for a month or two now, so he's got a pretty good head start on me. I'm gonna start using this and testing this in my backyard, and we're gonna put our thoughts together and, and put a review together for you. So can't wait to share that with you. Really looking forward to it. Excited to have this. Special thanks to Toro for sending it out and for being such a great partner of the channel. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.